What the hell is Blizzard doing with patch 1.33? What are they doing? They just said in the previous video that they were done. But there is some cool new stuff. We have discovered that there are icons recently uploaded that very closely resemble the original icons that we had in Reign of Chaos. <clears throat> for Reforged, everything got new portraits. And for Reforged, Classic did not get improved. Everything was reimagined. So a peon would look like this, and then for Reforged, some lid would look like that. He's more hunchbacked, he's more sad, he's more... There were a lot of changes, and a lot of that is artistic differences, artistic license. And I guess the big question is, is it nostalgia or is it something else, quality, that makes us like the original more? Is it pure nostalgia? Many say that's the case. People like me, many other Warcraft 3 players, it's nostalgia that makes us look at the old portraits and keeps, keep thinking that they are better than the new ones. But sometimes, what if it really was quality? What if nostalgia was real, but there was also really a greater level of quality and cohesion to older icons and portraits than to the new ones? How would you be able to eliminate the nostalgia element? Well, that would need some, I guess, non-Warcraft 3 players to look at everything side by side and say, which one do you think are better? And we have that. Recently, some kind of data mining, some kind of sleuths in the Warcraft 3 scene, they have discovered that there were recently new icons uploaded that I think look freaking good, and I want us all to see it. And we have two videos to look at from Witty, where he goes over some of the stuff, and I want to see what he thinks about it, and we will see what we think about it. Now, pretty cool Witty, he plays a lot of custom games, I play a lot of melee games, and we've both done the other as well. We talked a little bit recently, and we think, hey, maybe we should do something together. So we'll probably do a collaboration soon. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I like watching Witty's content. We can do some team games. We can do some custom games. If you have an idea for what we should be playing together, uh, let me know or let us know as well. And we'll try to plan that sometime soon. But for now, let's jump into it and see what the hell is going on with Warcraft 3 PTR patch 1.33. Hello. Remember when I thought that Blizzard were basically done and ready to push the patch and move on? Well, they may not just be done yet. There is hope. Always hope. Always. All right. <laughs> just take out that snake of copium outside of your mouth, Witty. Come on. Always hope. So... Here we have the patch notes that we had a while ago, just letting us know that we're getting zoom and the changes that have been made, stats functionality, supposed fixes, but remember things are still kind of not working properly on the PTR. And we're worried that they're just going to basically say, okay, guys, good enough. We're ready. Patch implemented. It seems like so they're doing that. We need to keep stopping them. We need to keep distracting them from pressing that big button that says push the patch. And there is a... Th this is what it has gotten to because Blizzard isn't talking to us, right? So they've got all these people that are offering free consulting, you know, free consulting, free advice, free help, just compiling lists for them. They're banning people from their forums when they're making big bug lists because you're only supposed to put one bug per post. So then you have to make 26 posts instead of one post with 26 bugs. My theory is that they banned the guy that gave them all the bug breakdown just because uh, they wanted to save face, uh, but they actually made a copy of it and they're working hard on it right now. Soon all 26 bugs uh, will be fixed and they're secretly very grateful, but they're just not able to say so publicly. Let's just stop here. So the, today's the 16th. Just recording this at four o'clock in the afternoon. PTR update from July the 15th. So this was yesterday. Kyvax says in about 15 minutes at 10.30 a.m. PDT, we're going to deploy hotfixes to the PTR that should address the following. Fixed an issue where the terrain palette would crash the editor in both SD and HD modes. Fixed an issue where the file aliases, I can't say that word, had incorrect Same. file paths for some textures. Thank you very much for your testing and feedback. So we need to keep them distracted. We need to keep them it's like it's like Blizzard is like a destructive puppy, right? 
Hey, they're pretty cute, and generally you like looking at their uh, stuff a lot, but uh, they're so easily distracted, ADD and all that, destructive when left alone. They Oh, they took a pee on the carpet. Oh, they just ate your wallpaper. Hey, let's keep distracting them with a nice little whistle and bell to make sure that we can train them to do the right thing. Because there's, there's more to do, there's more to do, but just to let you guys know, remember that big hyper thread that we had? Uh, that was telling us everything that kind of needs to be done for Warcraft 3. Yep. Obviously, some of it's a bit, you know, nitpicky, but there are some genuine concerns here. And I'm going to actually post... You know, j just the point of the nitpicky stuff, because I, I feel this a lot in my own life. Like, I'm kind of a nitpicker sometimes as well, but I feel like there's a real need for people like me and people like this and certain people. Uh, nitpickiness is good so long as you can filter it away and prioritize out of it. Either the nitpicker can learn to prioritize and, and present it as such, or the person who consumes the feedback can prioritize among it and say, this is important, this is not important. But every operation needs a combination of different uh, expertises, some nitpickers, some prioritizers. And and so I have, I have in the past many times given feedback to game developers or other people uh, about things that I am having an expertise about. And the last thing that I usually want to do is to shield their emotions from being too nitpicky, being too complete with my feedback, being too complete. And we're not talking about like little jabs to insult them, but just purely the, the, the fact of the matter. If you have to be like, oh, I'm not going to say this one because maybe they'll be too sensitive. Like there has to be some kind of shield to present that to the persons that need to fix it. And usually that's called community manager. But sadly, Blizzard cannot afford a community manager right now for uh, for Warcraft 3. So maybe that's why they, they banned this guy and <laughs> deleted his post. Post some stuff onto the forums as well, because I made some documents or rather some pictures to illustrate to Blizzard that the font is incorrect and what I wouldn't mind done with the zoom. So a few things here and there, not to mention the menu. If you're playing as Orc is the human menu for some reason, little things like that, menu just music. right, as well as the music not being correct. So we still got things that need to be fixed. But as you can see in this thread, terrain palette, this was one of the highest um, priorities that needed to be addressed because for custom game creators, uh, this can cause a lot of issues and maybe make their map not even work at all, which could, mm. you know, have a big catastrophic, uh, catastrophic effect where, you know, people actually can't make their maps work. And these are maps that they've been working on for ages. And it's not just like, oh, one, one guy. There's a ton of people that this will affect. And it's very important to get this right because... So it, it looks like from the first post that they did actually maybe touch upon that. So I'll, I'll wait to hear from the map making experts to see if that's going to be enough. But if this was a high priority, then yeah, if they fix that, that would at least be nice. It means that they can go ahead and continue creating content for Warcraft 3, which helps it stay alive. So here's another one. That's the file aliases maybe uh, a collection of texture and model related issues so these are two very specific issues out of very many but there's still two issues that are being well, addressed in a rush, you might want oh to well then they alias alias aliases okay thank you very much <laughs> i knew Aliens? it i knew it all along i just wasn't saying correctly at all um here we go. So we're getting some fixes. There's still plenty more to be done. So if you have any concerns, try to make sure that you address it with a very clear indication as to what is the issue. <laughs> PTR. Blizzard, please read my post. It is in my best interest that you read my post and fix it. A bug or PTR, the game version, and then what is broken. That makes it as clear as possible for Blizzard to address the issue. And remember, they kind of want it in single issues now rather than one hyper thread that shows them everything. So it shows that they're working on it. I mean, this is more than we've got in the past. So, you know, I feel like at least it shows that these are big concerns for the community. And good work, by the way, um, to all the community members sort of like uh, retweeting um, Hive Workshops posts yeah. and other content creators. Yeah, we're doing what we can, like, man. Grubbies try to reach out to um, 
Holly, I think her name is, as well as yeah. back to Walker. I tried to reach out to her. Call me. Um, Call me. They've done some good work by trying to get her on board. Now, I had my concerns with her because she worked on TBC Classic, and TBC Classic came out with... Oh, of- shit. Oh, shit. I don't know her track record or whether she's done... I'm sure she... I think... You know what? I think she's great. The monetization stuff, which they knew wasn't in the original game, and it was a bit of a scummy move, so I was a bit worried what they're going to do. Oh, no. Whether she's even going to be in that, that involved with Warcraft 3, but I think she's at least a bit more um, willing to be on board to help out than we've had with previous community members. So at least that's a good sign. So keep that up. If there's any posts that are made from these content creators that want to address certain issues. It's that better than not having anyone, in, yeah. Uh, what's her name? Quick Stalker, Wind Stalker, I think it is. Then make sure to <laughs> sort of retweet those and like those tweets because I think- Ah, look at this. This is an average community member uh, piping in right now, Incinerator. She is great, really great. Warcraft 3 community all agrees. Holly is the best. Yeah, I, I agree with that. How about you guys? I think she's been doing a great job and she'll be very welcomed uh, here as we... Yeah, you agree, Red Factor? Back to Warcraft agrees as well. Yeah, I think she'll be very welcomed if she starts a dialogue with us. You know, it's it's very easy just to um, forget the last couple of years because we didn't have anyone. But like now that we have someone that is actually actively helping with the game, we are super grateful and happy. And uh, yeah, we wouldn't make things difficult at all. I think she might be and, and she's amazing potentially, or at least the team might be. I can't give her all the credit because I genuinely don't know. But it is good to see that, you know, they actually did pay attention which is really unusual it's surprising you know, it's very unusual when you actually see them sort of take on board what you're saying yeah so i i, I imagine it like this right blizzard right now is like an undiscovered unconfirmed alien race we have sent out <laughs> we have sent out bob marley tapes on satellites and we've shot them into the earth we've shot them out of the earth into the atmosphere out of the atmosphere into space we're sending like rubik's cubes we're sending mathematical equations we're sending like little lizards we're sending all kinds of stuff out there in space and we never hear anything back and yet because of the multiverse theory and whatnot like we're pretty sure there's life out there and blizzard is somewhere out there we don't know this, but it is true. They are somewhere out there. And then suddenly they acknowledge one of these things. They're like, nice music. And we're like, what? It's like they didn't find the lizard, but they found the Bob Marley tape. They're like, nice music. We're like, oh my God, some of our feedback actually gets heard. We've been in the dark for so long. Earth is petering out its final lifespan. <laughs> and here we are. And they're like, nice music, save us. Teach us intergalactic travel faster than light. And then it's like quiet again for another 10,000 years, which for them, that's not long at all. Like this is Blizzard being on top of communications and being on top of that. But for us, that's a lifetime. Like there may not be an earth as we know it anymore. Anyway, nice music, let's go on. They, they, they fix one or two things, that's amazing. 24 left on the map. Even if it's a little bit, that's a lot somehow. Yeah, that's amazing. That's the stage we got to. So keep up the good work. There's more to be done. We need to try to hold this patch for as long as possible. Hold the door. Hold this patch <laughs> as long as you can. And the other topic I wanted to go over. Oh, there's a reason why I might not be able to chat with Holly myself is because I created <laughs> oh, no. this oh, no. many years ago. I remember this one. <laughs> Not in many years ago. When was this? Don't oh, show 2021. Do you remember this? Yeah. This is when they did the uh, this was so good. World of Warcraft Q&A. And for some weird reason, because I'm weird, I kind of got debated by the chat. I'm blaming the chat, but really it was kind <laughs> of both of our faults. Um, into noticing that when they were talking, they were lip smacking a lot. So I made a compilation of all of the noises and Holly features in this a lot. So <laughs> it's best that she never knows that this video exists. Okay, this is going to be the second media of Holly that I'll ever be consuming. The first one was some interview I looked up because I was wondering, all right, who is the Holly? Who is the Windstalker? And we know she's great and she does a great job and we're looking forward to dialogue with her. But this is going to be the... I mean, actually, I've seen this before. So this was the first time I perceived of her. Uh, and now we're going to see it again.
exists. And if she does, then I probably can't communicate with her ever because she's just going to ban me. So I want to say in advance here, uh, Holly, I strongly reject everything shown in this video just because I'm watching it don't mean I'm endorsing it. Uh, I think this was tasteless and uh, yeah, I wouldn't have done it. Yeah, I'll let you look that one up for yourselves if you wish to do so. The WoW Q&A lip smacking compilation. Is, no, uh... no, no. We got, we got to watch it now. We got to watch it now. I mean, he's not going to play it now, apparently. Q&A lip smacking witty. There we go. Quite disgusting. But... Uh... Good afternoon and welcome to the World of Warcraft Q&A panel at She's BlizzCon great. Line. Team in. Lead producer Holly Longdale. Want to know more about uh, this? Wow. Pose and I'm gone. Those any end in there. That was clean. You know, the lands who are carrying them. <laughs> Tell me when it's enough, chat. Uh, no, you variance anyway. The range again with a question from Vol. Author played. <laughs> it's enough. I hate this too. <sighs> but at least it's only disgusting for one hour, uh, one minute, and twenty-one seconds. And it said it took me four hours to make. What the hell was wrong with me? Yes, basically. The other topic I wanted to go over. That was all on me. That's not me. That was basically you guys. <laughs> and me. People have dry mouths at Blizzard. That's why they had to steal the breast milk out of the employee fridges. Is that something that actually happened? It's <laughs> right. You remember what is this? The boys? Please? Oh no, don't say yes, chat. Oh no, it's in the lawsuit. Oh. These are awesome. So what you have are the original now the originals are all 64 by 64. okay this looks really freaking good these are the originals these are the classic can do we call them classic hd or like improved classic or or these are the newly resurfaced ones that we, we were talking about in the start of the video and the bottom line is the reforged now let's say if i'm looking at it yeah let's say classic plus let's say classic plus the bottom ones let's say if I was playing a new game and I judged the portraits in the bottom, would they be good? Are they artistically good? Are they interesting? Are they dynamic? And I would say not bad. I would say it's pretty good, actually. Let's try to actually look at them and forgetting everything else that we know. Here's a spider creature. There are lots of eyes. There are nice lighting effects on the eyebrows here of the eyes of the spider. Uh, there's like uh, cute little teeth. It's like cute, but it's deadly as well. There's not as much contrast, but I mean, it's a creature, right? It's it's supposed to be more dark and camoed rather than having bright colors that warn you of its intent. Like this is not a poisonous frog, right? A toxic frog. This is a venomous spider, no doubt. So I think that looks pretty cool. This hat hunter is pretty cool. Again, it's dynamic, you know, the side profile got some exaggerated features. Uh, I think it looks all right. Looks pretty all right. He's evil. His nose is a little long, but you know, we don't know in this mystery game whatever uh, what creatures look like to me. This is a pretty cool looking general, you know, beast reptile kind of thing. He looks evil, different direction. This is, I mean, she's uh, like a, a little too cute, maybe like a, a bit too young, but maybe that's how they look like. Overall, like quite realistic. I think this part in particular looks quite realistic, like the way that uh, the cheek gets pressed away from the helmet inwards and then creates like a, a fold here of the skin. And night elves don't age. They can get like 10 thousands of years old. Obviously the eyebrow is weird, but that's literally how elves are also depicted in WoW. And this is a pretty cool looking dwarf. He's got kind of like absent eyes, if you will. He, he's supposed to be like a, he actually should have pretty good eyes, but he kind of looks like he has faded eyes. I don't know exactly what's going on there. I think the eyes don't look too strong, but overall, like I think these five pictures are pretty damn cool, all of them, and obviously way more realistic than the top ones. Now, pure nostalgia speaking for me, I love these five. They are precious to me. They are nostalgic. Uh, they are very small, and you can see that these are also like actually bigger resolution, right? But these classic plus ones, 
they truly deliver on keeping the exact same silhouette and art style and yeah just the fidelity to how they were once depicted and so for that i personally love these classic plus ones the most these are new like we haven't seen these like six months ago they weren't there they were newly uploaded i don't know if blizzard is actually planning a classic plus release or if this is purely just work for the profiles something to do with the classic profiles like classic i saw someone had a theory in my discord said that uh, this could be like just for the linked profiles remember when reforge was new and they said link account in warcraft 3 and you could link it and then supposedly it would carry over your wins and losses from classic reign of chaos and frozen throne straight into your reforged account and then actually it didn't do anything and we haven't perceived anything since then uh, maybe maybe that's all we're getting because it just so happens that all of these are reward portraits for a certain amount of wins with a certain amount of races we're not seeing a new portrait for icons that aren't reward based so yeah i don't know maybe that's all it is but let's see what uh, witty is saying about it as well these are 256 by 256 and we we got five of them they were hidden in the game files right these are the sort of true reforged i'm gonna call them true reforged well so Blizzard always said a remaster is a remaster. That's what StarCraft is. And Warcraft is going to be better than. It's a, not a remaster. It's a reforged. It's where you take a sword and you break it. And then you melt the iron. And then you make a new sword out of it. And you hammer it. And it's going to be reforged. Like Isildur's sword. Except they left it as a shard. <laughs> they left it broken. So... It was not reforged, it was actually, according to the name, deforged or unforged or molten. But it isn't a remaster, so like it wouldn't be right to call it, to call these the true reforged, because, you know, there was no breaking of it, it was just improving it. Classic plot. This is more like shaving, how do you call it, uh, using a whetstone to sharpen the blade. Plus. It takes into account the original look and sharpens it. And in some cases, Sharpens. I think actually makes it look better. Particularly for the Huntress. I would say she really pops there in comparison to the classic Warcraft 3. Agreed. I don't think anything will ever be good as the original Naga Myrmidon with that cheeky smile. But hell, that's a really good grin. He's got that grin. But this is just a monstrosity. Yeah. That's kind of a grin, but it's like, ah. And this troll headhunter, I don't know. It just, it feels like it's a different game. It's like... I do agree with that. I do agree with that. Like... There's something old and ugly about this original troll, and that's just what it is. And this one is like, it's too smooth in some way. I don't know. The Raid Shadow Legends version of Warcraft 3, basically. All of these. So, news has come out that more of these have been found. And this is with the recent patch, I think. So, there's an indication... Oh, da, 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 they look so we good. We may get more of these, and these look amazing. I don't know whether they've been just. Well, the druid looks a little funny. Like he's, he's... <laughs> the druid looks a little funny. This looks a little bit too thick here, this cheek. But overall, these are all very good replicas of the original. Like it's like high quality Reign of Chaos portraits. The dragon whelp is cute. It feels like Pokemon. This dragon. Dragon Whelp, and then it's like a little Dragon Whelp Hatchling or whatever, level 3. This one's level 6. This is a level 10, and that's a Black Dragon. And everyone that played Heroes of Might and Magic 3 knows that Black Dragon is the baddest boy on the battlefield. And, of course, you know, there's Deathwing. This footman has cute eyes, like where he's staring to the side. Grunt's jaw looks a little plastic to me. And I think the same can be said a little bit for the Farseer, but Farseer still looks cool. I think the Grunt's jaw looks just a bit too smooth. But like nearly everything else is right on the money. There's like a level of detail to the Archmage's eyes that cannot be seen in the original uh, classic graphics icons. Dreadlord, he's got that cute blood drinking smile, that little grin, the smirk. Abomination is back to being proper ugly. And the ghoul keeps his tongue in his damn mouth, unlike the reforged ghoul. And that looks more right. And it's the original, uh, it's the original way of depicting him. AI edited 
So AI has taken the original models or the icons and sharpened them up, or someone actually worked on them I think themselves. someone worked on them. But more of these are emerging, and they look great. Some of them do look a bit derpy. I'm looking at you, Malfurion. That is probably the worst one. Actually, probably looks worse than the original. I actually have an overview here from uh, my Discord. Someone put them all side by side so you can see them uh, and compare them. So, original Archer, Classic Plus, and then the Reforged Archer all the way at the bottom, who is just like too too cute you know they made her like they're all we know that the art was outsourced by to a malaysian studio and it just feels like it follows those asian beauty standards of like cute puffy cheeks and a small chin and like the point is in the original she didn't even have a chin it didn't fit on the picture and then here's the original druid of the claw and then below is the classic druid of the claw and you can see that actually, yeah, even the original druid, he had like big cheek, big puffy cheeks, maybe because like supposedly he can turn into a panther or a bear. And that's like how that looks like. I don't know. And then the new one is just actually the bottom druid of the claw here just looks like a blizzard dev. <laughs> like, like he looks too much like a just like a human, someone that plays in a rock band and also does uh, development. Yeah, the archer makeup is, is, is all different. I mean, yeah, I guess the original archer makeup is a bit strange, that green thing. But if an archer was going to have makeup, it would be green, right? Like so they take like tree sap or something. So it's at least on brand. And then uh, let's look at the footman. I had no idea that in the original classic footman, he was also looking to the side. You see this? He was already paranoid. I could only see it in the new in the new and improved one but it's still there and and look what they did to my boy they massacred him peon 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 even just the point of like making the peon face the other side it feels like it has no loyalty to the past no like why why why, why two peons look to the right and then he suddenly looks to the left uh, that might be me just nitpicking but overall i am very big fan of the classic graphics Ah, uh, I I love this Archmage so much more than the new one. Look at that. This is just a, a regular mage, dude. This is the freaking Archmage, dude. The new Dreadlord is pretty sick. But it's, I don't know, it still doesn't feel right. And uh, I have another, I have another picture. Storm Knight showed this to, to us. Here we go. There's a couple more. We see some dragon comparisons here in the bottom. Uh, Classic Plus, Reforged. Classic Plus Lich, Reforged Lich. Classic Plus Dreadlord, New Dreadlord, the Dragon Whelp. Here. I find the four dragons here that were Classic Plus much more easily able to be distinguished from one another. They have clearer colors and contrast than these four. I'm not gonna lie, these three look exactly the same to me, these three dragons. They have three different colors. There's teal-ish, gray, red-ish, and black and silver-ish. And they all look like the same to me. Zoom in. And then the exaggerated cartoonish colors of the top makes each one feel very different. Look at the ghoul. If this ghoul is going to bite someone with his tongue hanging out, he's going to bite his own tongue off. So he will only make that mistake once. The original one also has a long tongue. But they're in a biting pose, so it doesn't make sense that the tongue is coming out to me. <laughs> Back to the video. But they're so clear to what the original Warcraft 3 is. They really do hold true. My favorite one is actually the Farseer. I think this little snarl, the sort of lighting on his eyes, the beard, it's so much clearer. The clarity is fantastic. I like the lips. So we have some comparisons the created peon. by Storm Knight, which compares these new Priestess. ones that we got to original classic and 
reforged. So soak this in for a moment. They look absolutely fantastic. And that, that lich one, wow, that's, that's some high work art that is right there. So here we have and he's got them the too. new models that we've seen, essentially the new ones that have been released. So we'll call them Classic Plus just for now, I guess, or True Reforged. Just call them Classic Plus, whatever. <laughs> and that's Reforged. They don't have a name. Classic Plus, Reforged. Classic Plus, Reforged. The only thing I kind of liked about Reforged was how badass they made the dragons look. They have oh. these big meaty jaws and they do look really strong. But otherwise, really not a massive fan. Opinions I mean, vary. There's not really much of a similarity, right? The grunts facing the wrong way. The looks are completely different, I think. Some of them are kind of keeping some similarities, but it's not. <laughs> the grunt is facing the wrong way. You know that's literally not true, right? Like, it doesn't matter which way you're facing, but I feel the same th thing. Like, the almost everything looks the same way, see? Even when they made the reforged icons, they generally had them be attempted to look the same way. Footman, Knight, Archmage, Medivh, P like Rifleman, Huntress, Myrmidon, Fiend. It generally checks out, but the Grunt and the Peon face the other way. Why? It just feels sloppy. It's not that it's technically wrong, you just know they missed that. You, you know based on the evidence of all the other pictures, that it was a mistake, those two. So yeah, then it turns out they are facing the wrong way. Not truly what... I mean, they just look so... Look at this knight, he just looks so tired here. Those yeah. reforged models are sort of... This almost claymation look, where yep. they just kind of look grizzled. Yep, the knight and the rifle, they look too... Uh, I don't know, like they're, they've been smoking all day, and you can barely see them through the smoke. Like They're like tired and wasted. And beyond belief and I never really got behind that because I felt like it gave an overly realistic view if Less the intense. realistic view was the character had been living in a bin for five months with barely a scrap of food See? maybe baked beans and potentially some Dr. Pepper uh, it's overly gritty to just it doesn't hold what the Warcraft 3 really felt like to me personally as someone who's played it for 20 years so, I just love how good these look. And if there's more, then bring them on. That's what I say. I would absolutely, hands down, without a shadow of a doubt, use these over those reforged. Same. Any day of the week. Same. So, we have the 64 by 64. So, this is nice. The only downside is we don't quite get the clarity because it's 64 by 64. The resolution is obviously lower. But it does clearly show the original, the Classic Plus... I don't know and what they're planning the with these planosphere. So you can see them as they are and what they became. And you can clearly see that the Classic and the Classic Plus are so similar. That's why I wonder if it's AI generated no, or not. Because it's basically the same picture. It can't be. But just really sharpened up with beautiful clarity. It actually holds true to what it was supposed to be. I don't know what trip, and I'm pretty sure it's Brian... Look at what they did to the abomination. <laughs> it's like he wore bracers for like seven years. <laughs> well, you can't go meet your new family looking like this. Wear some braces until you're my pretty boy. Oh, look at him now. He's so handsome. We wouldn't want an abomination with five arms and two schlongs and three legs to ever have bad looking teeth. Let's fix that up so that we can gain worldwide appreciation and acceptance. Brian Souser's fault, I say this every time. If it's not, I apologize, but I'm pretty sure it is your fault. That he was hell bent on going this weird direction with Reforge and probably managed to convince Pete Steelwheel and everyone else to get yep. on board with it. Where Reforge so. was just trying to make it way what too much more did he say, did he say like, Sam? World board with this weird, I apologize, but trip. And I'm pretty sure it's Brian's crew to what oh, it Brian's this every say, time. Yeah. If it's not, I apologize, but I'm pretty, and I'm pretty sure it's Brian Souser's fault. I say this every time. If it's not, I apologize, but I'm pretty sure it is your fault that he was hell bent on going this weird. I think it is maybe Brian. I mean, he was lead artist and he left right before the game dropped, like before the game got released. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it is uh, Brian Sousa's decision to reforge them in his manner. Weird direction with reforge and probably managed to convince Pete Steelwheel and everyone else to get on board with it, where reforge was just trying to make it way too much more like. World of Warcraft meets Raid Shadow Legends meet 
some other horrible, horrendous thing. And we got the result that we got. So I can quite clearly tell you from my perspective as someone that's played Warcraft 3 for so many years that these models are beautiful. Yep. So we're getting feedback from Blizzard. We're getting more of these new models be discovered. These icons. So if they can somehow just come back to this, I would be so happy. I don't expect them to sort of change Warcraft 3 original models to look more like this because that would basically mean developing the game again to a degree well it's not developing like they will yeah they will have to do artist work again for the original grunt in the game and design their model correctly and then also make sure that that model strikes in the exact same way so a strike the damage point needs to be at the point where the axe connects and when he pulls back and so on and they can maybe build around the skeleton of the original model and they have those files but it's not most likely going to be possible without qa a lot of artists work for a lot of different models they can most likely not do that just for the melee units the, the ones we use in ladder the the creeps and the units and then just leave I don't know how many I'm trying to think how many assets there actually were that needed to be replaced. I know that uh, Bliss told me the Bliss devs told me that they had embarked on this journey to reforge all the models and then they realized how bloody many models there actually are in the game. Like not just the melee and the ones you see in the campaign, but there are so many freaking units. And then they decided to make uh, all the different variations of the Dreadlord like the amount of dreadlords that get introduced to you in the campaign tychondrias and blah blah and you you know all the names you know all the different morganas to give them all disparate looking looks and i'm trying to think yeah varimathras how many assets were there actually that needed to be changed it's in the hundreds for sure but was it in the thousands i'm trying to think if it was in the thousands and it might be, but it's at least like three or six hundred. And so they would have to do every single one to give them a cohesive look of classic plus in-game model uh, look. And then make sure that they look right when animated, walking in the right gait, uh, striking at the right uh, at the right speed and so on. They'd have to have like a proper full team as if they were working There's on... There's 862 units in the editor. Hmm. Forged without releasing it, do you see what I mean? They obviously needed to spend another year or two on Reforge, really, before they released it. And then we could have potentially had actual models that look like these icons. Certainly thousands, if you think about all the little buildings. Yeah, you're right. It would, they would have to do everything again. It would take them years again. Uh, and can they sell it again? Can they sell millions and millions and millions of copies again of Reforged? <laughs> again, just because they released Classic Plus? No, so it's, you know, it's probably not going to happen. But Holly, please do, though. Yeah, thank you. But uh, the icons are still nice, and I would like the icons if we if that's what we can get, because you got to grasp at what you can get these days when it comes to Blizzard. So there you have it. Some no more news, more hopium. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Have a good one, and just know that they're listening a little bit more than they currently were in the past. So there is hope. There, there is just a bit. Okay, guys, I'm going to link to this video and to the next one in the description. So make sure to go over to Witty's channel and subscribe to his channel and all that good stuff. Give likes and comments because he's, uh, he's done a nice compilation here for us to look at as well. Now, we have a next video just, here. Just this one bit. came out. Thanks. Have a nice day. This one came out today where, as planned, July 18th, the PTR is indeed closed. They went ahead and did it. <laughs> everything we was, we was trying to say where it's not ready yet the editor may get broken if they release as is and blizzard said no we're done we'll continue doing internal testing we don't need any more public testing well it came to pass as was planned 18 july today ptr closed internal testing continues I'm witty here, real quick video for you. I was just about to play some Elden Ring and uh, just check the Warcraft 3 forums before doing so. And apparently, uh, thanks for testing the 1.33 PTR.
So uh, Kaivak says, we have now closed the 1.33 test environment for public testing. We will continue our 1.33 testing internally and we'll let you know when we're ready to patch the live game. Thank you all very much for your testing feedback. So cool. hopefully they've got on board the information they need. I even spent some time this afternoon to go over the issues that I also had in the game and post those in the relevant threads. So for example, basically the last bunch of uh, top posts up here essentially please don't go live <laughs> a response so plug in headphones causes unit responses to stop working so i have evidence of this happening where i touch <laughs> my microphone and then you know the what? unit responses just stop working until i shut down the client and brought it back up oh we've also got the fact that the uh, insert key isn't rotating the camera okay card. here's what i heard about the insert key we we saw <laughs> we saw a demonstration of this before Apparently, at any zoom level, you can only rotate left. You can't rotate right because insert isn't working. Only when you zoom all the way in down to the granular level, when orcs could proverbially slap you on the cheek of your all observing bird's eye, now not a bird eye, at most a standing pelican. When you're that close, then you can rotate, but not with insert, but still with delete. So at the lowest zoom level, delete takes you to the right. So at this zoom level, delete takes you to the left. And at this zoom level, delete takes you to the right. But there's no way to do it differently at other zoom levels. That's what someone tested and, and wrote to me in, in the Discord. But correctly, only when you were completely zoomed in. We've also got... Uh, is, is that correctly? what they said here as well? The insert key rotates left, the delete key rotates right. How it works in 133, insert key rotation only works if you're super zoomed in. Delete key rotation works like this. If you're zoomed out, delete key tilts left, which is incorrect. If you're zoomed in, delete key works properly. Okay, it's a little different than how it was described, but it's still jank as heck. Only when you are completely zoomed in. We've also got um, Zoom needs better integration. So Cam. Yep came up with a very good uh, situation here. I basically just said they should essentially do this thing that War Free Champions. Yes, exactly. 1650 is baseline. Allow you to fill in a granular number with any kind of points. 1650 is minimum. You can either use the slider and you, you see the number ticking or you can fill it in manually. Click to reset to default. Click to lock zoom out to specific. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what we need. This feature should work at any time during the game. Yes, slider and the manual type box work to complement each other. One change affects the other. Yes, exactly. That's what we want. That's what we need. Without actually mentioning Warfare Champions. But this is the proposed suggestion from Cam. So you set your um, distance, you can reset it, and you can click to lock it, and you slide it, and it accords. So that would be great. The only thing I would like with that one would be to also be able to, whilst inside of the melee game, be it versus or whatnot, refresh zoom, type the specified game camera setting and lock it. So type zoom 1900 and then lock it so that you can yeah. zoom in and out without it Minus actually zoom uh, lock. affecting the camera distance, but it will still sort of do that zoom in thing that Warcraft 3 does, if you know what I mean, where it sort of hones in underneath and looks deeper into the character. And then you can do that and go back, but still stay at 1900, for example, if that's what I've locked at. We've got the music not working correctly, so put a post up here. Just basically wanted to bump up these posts, so I'm kind of glad I did in a way, is before, uh, you know, maybe they can take this into account when they do the internal testing, is the latest bunch of posts at least. Try I'm to sure they will. Those. Holly will so personally do it. music's definitely not working correctly. We also have, the copious amounts of folders in the downloads folder. It's a small thing, but it's uh, if you've ever looked at the Warcraft 3 folder when you're trying to look for a map, uh, there's a lot of folders there and they definitely do not need to be there. Definitely bloated. And please don't go live. I wanted to reiterate this because some troll was like, oh, why haven't you gone live yet? And it's like, well, because the <laughs> thing is broken. So maybe don't. I bet there's someone that thinks that the patch should go live already because it probably has the hidden surprise of the new race, the Naga and they just want the patch to go live immediately so they can enjoy all the new content. Go live, so please do not go live, but obviously, uh, you know, they're gonna do what they're gonna do. And PTR bug, computer drop down menu. So I 
showed a demonstration of this. I had a few like screenshots and stuff like that I did. So for example, this is the orc setting, but you've got a human menu and I tested this. Oh you, yeah. It's the same with Night Elf or any other race. You always have this human setting for some reason. Wait. And uh in, in original it's not like that? Wait, let me check. <laughs> Because I didn't know this was an issue, but suddenly this issue is very important to me. I know that voice. Is this or oh, this is orc? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is very, very important to me. Damn it! I'm so Tell angry now. Of a race. <laughs> Look. This is orc with human issue, unplayable. Test the insert key too. Well, I am actually in the uh, in the real game, so it's working properly. There has always been a funny functionality. This is the live game, okay? This is not the PTR. Insert, release, delete, and there is this funny thing, and I feel like it's probably a feature where if you go from insert status to delete, it's faster. See? But that makes sense because. From here to here is 90 degrees, from here to here is 90 degrees. But if you want to go from one extreme to the other, you need to be faster. Because it's 180 degrees. And that's why it spins faster when you first go to the other way. And it seems to even scale up, kind of. Let's see. This is this fast. This is this fast. Yeah, it's like when it goes past the 20 degree angle. Yeah. When I when I do this past 20 degrees, not immediately, but just at least go 20 degrees shift and then I go to the right, then it has the hyper acceleration like that, which uh, is actually a really good functionality because otherwise it would take too long. That's just one of the quality of life changes that Blizzard added for us way back when. That's the quality that the game freaking shipped with. I appreciate that a lot. You always have this human setting for some reason. And a uh, thing that really bugs me, but it's kind of small, but it's still a thing that bugs me a lot. Font issues in one point. Maybe this whole Blizzard thing, what they're doing recently, is actually an exercise, like a, a kind of universal God-bestowed exercise in appreciation. It's like you have a dog. They've always been coddled and spoiled. And then you put them out on the street for five days to fend for themselves like an appreciation exercise and then when they get home you're like see see how good you have it with us of course i would never do that with a dog and nobody ever should that's cruel that's horrible but maybe that's what's happening here i'm suddenly appreciating the old warcraft 3 game so much point free free so we have examples here from kakpa and just show you that and then i'll show you the version that i did as well so that's like before what you're describing know. is abuse of course of course and this is just a game right but it does feel like when we are sipping on copium with hope for good things that it's some sometimes like abuse dog syndrome yes it's like ah oh, we've seen what they did with diablo immortal and and wow and reforged and but you know uh, and hearts but it's gonna be great like the next patch is gonna be great we, you know, we like to, we like to believe. And after, you can see it's like stretched out further. You can see the. Oh, uh, oh, that's a nice one by one comparison. Like stretched out a bit yep. further, the top. Before, and then after, you can see it's like stretched out further. Looks bad. You can see the uh, font on the actual gold resources. All that business at the top there is suddenly weirdly stretched out and I don't yeah know especially the 10 out of 10 looks good here and then it looks bad business at the top here, there is here suddenly weirdly stretched out and i don't know how they did that they just need to get the right font but i made a sort of demonstration of this so this is what it yep. should be at the top and that's the first yeah, no but for real like who would look at this and this and call them equal or, or like say that they're equally good looking. This is good looking. This is proper. I am very font sensitive. I'm not going to lie. It feels like witty is too. Some people, they look at font and they think you, either you can read it or you don't. But there is a kind of beauty in good looking font. I'm very sensitive to it. Maybe 
In Dutch, you call that uh, <laughs> someone who copulates with ants. Someone who copulates with ants. You would need to be very detail oriented to be able to copulate individual ants. Yeah, like an ant f word er, ant effer. That's a Dutch word for someone that looks at a lot of detail. Yes, like a ant lover, let's say. <laughs> And have. maybe, you know, maybe to make good looking fonts, you need to love ants. And that's the PTR. So if you look at the differences, it may not seem like that much, but it is actually standing out a lot to me. And uh, particularly the resources and that lumber, that awkward 150. This also actually affects the health bars. I didn't actually mention that one as well. But uh, the font for the characters, when you show their portrait at the bottom middle of the map, uh, you know, the interface at the very bottom yeah. and then slightly to the left middle. Uh, yeah, that font's not correct either. So Isn't there something better to fix than that? Well, of course, there's priority list radio art craft, but that's the exact kind of opinion that leads everything to just get progressively worse. It's like, well, as long as there's one thing more important to fix, let's break something else that doesn't matter a lot. Yeah, I just wanted to bring this up. So we'll see whether Blizzard will continue to actually work on this or whether they'll just bring out the patch. Isn't there something better to break done. than that? We'll keep an eye. Thanks for watching. Just wanted to let you guys know. And uh, if you can, try to make sure <laughs> that they, uh, they do the job properly. But, you know, what can you do? I'll see you guys later. Well, there you have it. There you have it. Or what do you think? Do you have faith that when 1.33 comes out, the game will work properly and they're not breaking the editor? Do you think they'll have done enough to protect us against the bugs and devastation that could potentially be unleashed on Azeroth? Unleashed? Unleashed? Let loose? Yes, they will do enough. The game will come out. 1.33 will come out and it will be a net positive. Or... No, some things are improved, but enough will break that we wish they had never brought out 1.33. Let me know your opinion in the comments below.